there anyone else out there in space? Or is there something even more amazing waiting for us beyond the stars? Imagine a huge and mysterious being millions of light years away trying to communicate with us by sending strange messages through space. Where do these puzzling signals come from? It's a big mystery that invites us to explore the vastness of the universe and go on an incredible adventure. So brace yourself as we uncover the secrets hidden in the puzzle of the fast radio bursts, or FRBs. Solving the cosmic riddles that capture our imagination and challenge what we know about the universe. Prepare to witness an amazing story that will leave you, well, amazed and wanting answers. Join us as we set out to understand the mysterious whispers from space and discover the truth at the core of the universe. In our vast universe, there is a fascinating mystery that amazes scientists and astrophysicists. The fast radio bursts. These bursts of light are very brief but incredibly powerful, like a whole year's worth of energy from our sun. Picture them as messages from faraway galaxies traveling unimaginable distances to reach our radio telescopes. Since they were first discovered in 2001, we've observed over a thousand FRBs, each with its own unique story of where it came from and its journey through space. What puzzles scientists is how these bursts can be created so quickly and where exactly they originate from. There are intriguing possibilities, like colliding neutron stars, erupting magnetars, and even the exciting idea of signals from extraterrestrial civilizations. However, as we explore the depths of the universe, these bursts remain difficult to understand, and their true nature remains a mystery. One thing is clear, their journey through space is not easy. They face challenges from space between stars and other cosmic factors, which cause them to change along the way. What's even more captivating is that with each burst is different, with variations in strength, wavelength, polarization, and dispersion. As we dig deeper into their origins and importance, studying FRBs becomes more than just a scientific pursuit. It becomes a quest to decode the language of the cosmos and grasp our role in the grand cosmic symphony here. These celestial wonders urge us to look up, to listen carefully, and immerse ourselves in the conversations of the galaxies, searching for answers that may reveal the broader story of the universe. The story of fast radio bursts is an exciting mystery to uh, what's happening in the vastness of the universe. It all started on the early 21st century, when astronomers discovered an unusual burst of radio waves called the Lorimer Burst. This burst lasted only 5 milliseconds, and it came from beyond our galaxy, which puzzled scientists. Some doubted its authenticity, but it marked a new era in radio astronomy. Scientists speculated about the nature of these bursts, different from the regular pulses of known pulsars. Some wondered if they were caused by humans or errors in observations. Progress was slow, but in 2012, the detection of another burst called FRB 010724 confirmed the Lorimer burst was not a one-time event, but part of a larger cosmic puzzle. By 2013, scientists started accepting the reality of FRBs, although their origin and nature remained mysterious. The detection of four more bursts at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society provided strong evidence of their cosmic nature. This sparked excitement in the scientific community leading observatories worldwide to join the search for these celestial flashes. However, the real breakthrough came in 2015 with the detection of FRB 121102. This burst revealed the repeating pattern, sending multiple bursts of radio waves into space. It was a crucial discovery that allowed scientists to study and analyze the properties of FRBs, providing insight into their elusive nature. As our cosmic journey continues, the history of FRBs is like a fascinating book that captures our imagination. From the surprising discovery of the Lorimer Burst to the ongoing effort to understand their characteristics, FRBs remain a captivating mystery. Advanced instruments like the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment have greatly expanded our knowledge of these mysterious bursts. CHIME's advanced capabilities have accelerated the detection of FRBs, helping us understand their distribution and diverse nature. Fast radio bursts have fascinated astrophysicists, posing a puzzle that challenges our understanding of the universe. These mysterious bursts of radio waves from outside of our galaxy appear as intense flashes that last only a fraction of a second. However, during that brief moment, they release an extraordinary amount of energy, surpassing the sun's emissions over days, weeks, or even months. One key feature of FRBs is their dispersion measure, which reveals their incredible journey throughout space. As these radio waves travel across the cosmos, they interact with the space between stars, causing lower frequency waves to lag behind higher frequency waves. This dispersion effect spreads out the signal over time, and higher dispersion measures indicate that signals have traveled immense distances across the universe. What makes FRBs even more captivating is their irregularity. While most FRBs occur as single events, there is a subset called repeating FRBs, which emit multiple bursts over time. First of these, FRB 121102, discovered in 2015, continues to intrigue scientists as it periodically releases bursts that we diligently observe and study. 
The existence of both single and repeating FRBs suggests that various astrophysical mechanisms are responsible for these cosmic phenomena. Studying the spectra of FRBs provides valuable insights into their nature. The wide range of frequencies they span, from hundreds of megahertz to several gigahertz, indicates that they originate from beyond our galaxy. Additionally, some FRBs show frequency-dependent patterns, such as drifting subbursts and limited frequency ranges, suggesting complex processes behind their emissions. While we haven't pinpointed the exact location of most FRBs, a few repeating FRBs have been successfully traced back to specific galaxies like the dwarf galaxy housing FRB 121102, which is an astonishing 3 billion light years away. This discovery confirmed that FRBs do originate from outside of our Milky Way. The rapid timescales of FRBs imply that their sources are compact, possibly no larger than a few hundred kilometers across. This similarity in size to neutron stars, remnants of supernova explosions, has led to speculation that these mysterious bursts may be linked to these exotic objects. However, studying FRBs is challenging due to their brief duration and immense distances. They appear and disappear in an instant, leaving us with only faint signals captured by our radio telescopes. Yet within these fleeting whispers from distant cosmic realms lies the potential to uncover profound truths about the universe that we live in. Each characteristic of FRBs, from their dispersion measures and spectral properties to their distribution in space and repeating patterns, contributes a piece to the puzzle that surrounds them. Together, they encompass the boundless marvels of our universe, driving our unrelenting quest to unravel their mysteries and push the boundaries of human knowledge. The fighting of FRBs has revealed a fascinating cosmic puzzle, which is hard to understand, as puzzles can be. These mysterious signals show strange and unpredictable patterns that have intrigued scientists. To understand where they come from, researchers are studying neutron stars, which are incredibly dense remains of huge stars. Neutron stars may be important in creating FRBs. Despite being small, they're very heavy, even more so than our sun. Their strong gravity and magnetic fields create extreme conditions that could cause these puzzling events. Scientists have noted that FRBs have different patterns. Some happen once, while others repeat. For example, FRB 121102 repeats in an irregular way, which goes against what we currently know. Another interesting FRB, called FRB 180916.J0158 plus 65, whew, that's a number chain, repeats every 16 days, switching between bursts in quiet periods. According to the Magnetar model, the super strong magnetic field of a neutron star, billions of times more powerful than any human made magnet, is the key. The stress caused by this magnetic field can cause the star's surface to crack, releasing a burst of magnetic energy that appears as an FRB. In the case of repeating FRBs, it's believed that a rotating magnetar emits bursts whenever a hot spot on its surface lines up with our view. Another possibility is the interaction between a neutron star and its surroundings. If a neutron star plays a part in the binary system or has a disk of matter around it, its interaction with the surrounding material could create the conditions needed for an FRB. The observed patterns of FRBs could also be affected by the movements of the systems or the star's interaction with the disk. Although these models provide good explanations, they don't fully explain all the different properties of FRBs. There are still many unanswered questions. Why do only certain neutron stars emit FRBs? What causes the different timing patterns of repeating FRBs? The connection between FRBs and neutron stars is still uncertain, and more observations are necessary to test these ideas. With each discovery, we get closer to understanding the secrets of these mysterious events. The strange pattern seen in FRBs continues to challenge and improve our knowledge of neutron stars and complex universes beyond our galaxy. By observing and studying FRBs, we have the potential to gain new insights into the extreme physics that govern our universe. In this huge space that is called our universe, there is a special kind of music made by cosmic waves. When we look through a special telescope, we can hear a whole new world of sound. These waves are different from the music that we hear on Earth. They're like a concert happening in the universe. Imagine the universe as a never-ending ocean full of life where we can listen to signals from faraway cosmic events like harmonies in the deep, like whales going Ooh. But how can we listen to this cosmic music? Radio waves, which are a type of energy that travel through space, give us a special chance. They're similar to light, but they have longer waves. We can't hear these radio waves directly, but we found a way to turn them into sound. This makes the silent universe an amazing experience for our ears. One of the most interesting performers in this cosmic concert is the pulsar. These incredible stars send out beams of radio waves from their magnetic poles. As they spin, the beams pass Earth in a regular pattern, like the light from a lighthouse. The pulsar's steady rhythm is like the cosmic metronome, giving us a harmonious background to the radio universe. Unlike the predictable pulsar pulses, FRBs are sudden bursts of energy that happen without warning. They shine very brightly for a very short time and then disappear. 
We don't know where they came from, but they catch our attention with each mysterious burst. These short moments give us important clues about the mysterious parts of the universe, making us want to uncover their secrets. And let's not forget about our part of the universe, the Milky Way. In this huge space, radio waves are making their kind of music. The remnants exploded stars and the dances of all the pulsars all add the energy to our galaxy. These signals mix and they make a continuous chorus that we can hear throughout the radio universe. In this big cosmic concert, every celestial object and event has a role to play. They add different sounds, different rhythms, different melodies to the music. With our special telescopes as ears, we can capture these amazing sounds from very, very far away and from very, very long ago. Fast radio bursts have brought a lot of excitement to this search. They're unpredictable. They make us curious to find answers. Scientists all over the world are eager to listen and figure out what these cosmic bursts are telling us. As we decode the cosmic signals and go deeper into the mysteries of the universe, we come closer to understanding its incredible depths. The radio universe continues to enchant us, with an ever-changing concert waiting for us to understand it. With each discovery, cosmic music becomes more beautiful, inspires us to explore more and learn more about our place in this amazing masterpiece. These mysterious signals from deep space have led to many possibilities, including the exciting idea of extraterrestrial life. While some scientists are very, very skeptical, the public is intrigued and it wonders if these powerful signals could be created by advanced aliens. Are they trying to communicate with us or power their interstellar travels or something? One popular theory suggests that FRBs could be a way of interstellar communication, surpassing our radio broadcasts in scale and complexity. Imagine a civilization so advanced that it can use the energy of an entire star or galaxy, like a Type II or even a Type III civilization according to the Kardashev scale. That's an amazing concept, but understanding the messages in these brief bursts is a huge challenge. Their short duration and lack of repetition leave us with more questions than we actually have answers. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and Manasvi Lingam proposed another intriguing idea. FRBs might be remnants of advanced propulsion systems. In their groundbreaking 2017 paper, they suggested that these bursts could be leaks from enormous spacecraft powered by beam propulsion. Imagine an alien civilization using a transmitter the size of a planet to move their ships through space. Could the broad beams we detect be traces of their interstellar journeys? Could they? However, the construction of such a massive transmitter and meeting its enormous energy needs are still uncertain. But in the realm of the most far-fetched possibilities, there is a theory that FRBs could be distress signals from civilizations facing catastrophic events. The explosion of a star or massive collision with another celestial body could trigger these mysterious radio bursts. However, the lack of patterns or coherent messages in FRBs makes it real difficult to confirm this idea. Nevertheless, our thirst for knowledge and the desire to find extraterrestrial intelligence motivates us to contemplate, to explore this concept of intelligent life beyond our planet. Although our understanding of FRBs is still in its early stages, the mere possibility of a connection of a, uh, to an extraterrestrial civilizations keeps our curiosity aflame. It pushes us to investigate these cosmic mysteries further. Amidst the vastness of the universe, speculation about FRBs and the potential for alien life reminds us of our place in this cosmos. Scientists have been searching space for signs of intelligent life for a long time from any other planet that we could. This field of research, known as SETI, is driven by the idea that there might be other civilizations that are trying to communicate with us, just as we have tried to communicate with them and send messages into the vastness of space. I keep saying the vastness of space, but space is vast. Anyways, we explore different theories and methods to find evidence of intelligent life in the universe. SETI focuses on the electromagnetic spectrum, specifically radio and optical signals, because we assume that advanced beings might use similar methods of communication because, you know, the ego ripe with humanity. <laughs> uh, these signals travel through space and they could bridge the gap between civilizations. One important event in SETI's history happened in 1974. It was called the Arecibo message, and it was a message sent out into space to show that we exist. The message contained information about our solar system, human DNA, life on Earth, and it was sent as radio waves and traveled 25,000 light years to distant groups of stars. It was a bold move, inviting a response from the unknown and making a clear statement that we are here. As we wonder about the possible reply to this cosmic call, we imagine how this interstellar conversation might even unfold. We explore different communication theories to understand how civilizations could communicate across this vast universe, the, the vastness of space, as some intellectuals might say. The famous Drake Equation, created by Frank Drake in 1961, is an important part of our search. It's a mathematical formula that tries to estimate the number of civilizations that might be ready to make contact in the universe. 
It considers factors like the rate of star formation, the existence of planetary systems, and the conditions necessary for life. This equation gives us a glimpse of the countless possibilities that exist beyond our own planet. However, as we try and solve this cosmic puzzle, we come across the Fermi Paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi. And that raises a puzzling question. If there really were so many potential extraterrestrial civilizations, where are they? Why haven't we heard from them? It challenges our understanding of the universe, and it makes us question if our search is limited in some way, or if advanced civilizations are just beyond our reach. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence goes beyond finding life on other planets. It's a testament to our never-ending curiosity and exploration of the universe that connects our own origins with, again, the vastness of space. Through SETI, we go beyond the limits of our earthly existence, embarking on a journey that challenges our assumptions and expands our knowledge. In this quest, we embrace the timeless human spirit of curiosity, always reaching for the stars and pushing the boundaries of what we know. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence is not just about finding companionship in the cosmos. It is a pilgrimage that uncovers the depths of our humanity, revealing the wonders within us and inspiring us to unravel the mysteries that lie at the heart of our universe. Technology has always been crucial in helping astronomers explore the mysteries of our vast cosmos. Vast. Let's just say it again. Over the years, innovations like radio telescopes and computers have allowed us to see further into space. However, just receiving radio signals from distant celestial bodies is the beginning. The data that we collect is incredibly complex, and it requires powerful computers and advanced algorithms to make sense of it. This is where machine learning and data science come in. By analyzing massive amounts of data, we can uncover patterns and anomalies that may reveal new astronomical phenomena or even messages from extraterrestrial beings. For example, scientists have recently made significant progress in understanding fast radio bursts, which are quick and mysterious radio signals from space. They've trained algorithms using machine learning to identify and categorize different types of FRBs. This breakthrough has not only expanded our knowledge, but has also led to the discovery of new recurring sources of these puzzling signals. The potential for further discoveries in FRB research is vast and promising. In the world of technology, it ain't about size, yo. While the Square Kilometer Array is an impressive testament to our ambitions, it is the improvement and optimization of existing tools that truly push the boundaries of what we know. Techniques like the Fast Folding algorithm have been perfected, allowing us to detect and understand FRBs more efficiently and accurately. Each breakthrough in this field deepens the mystery surrounding fast radio bursts and raises profound questions about our place in this universe. Oh, sorry, our place in this vast universe. Looking ahead, our understanding of the radio universe is set to grow exponentially. Technological advancements will grant us a variety of cosmic sounds, some familiar, some comforting, while others will carry the whispers of distant worlds and civilizations. So, the next question is, what more lies beyond the celestial veil? Let us know in the vast comment section down below. Vast.